Hey everybody, welcome back to Podcastage. My name is Bandrew and I'm back with another microphone test video for you guys. Today I'm testing out this guy. This is the Tackstar SGC598 as requested by our viewer, Vetus. So as you can tell, this is a camera mountable shotgun microphone that does require a double A battery to work. And if you are interested in this microphone, it'll set you back about 30 bucks and I will throw a link in the video description down below. So let's go ahead and talk about what you get in the box. Obviously you're gonna get the microphone body, you get the foam windscreen, you get a carrying pouch and some documentation. So as far as the build quality, it's not amazing, it's an all plastic body and it doesn't feel that sturdy. Also, the stereo 3.5 millimeter cable right here is firmly attached so you can't replace it if it goes bad. Now on the side there are three switches. The first one back here is the power button which turns the microphone on and off. The second right here is a 10 decibel boost. And lastly over here, this is a low cut filter. Now it does have a cardioid polar pattern so we'll go ahead and keep talking as we move around the microphone to see how it sounds in different locations. The frequency response of this mic is listed as 50 hertz to 16 kilohertz, and the low cut filter cuts off frequencies below 60 hertz. And as I already mentioned, it does require a double A battery to actually turn the microphone on. Okay, now I'll just go ahead and be quiet for a second so you hear what kind of noise this thing picks up and generates. Okay, now I'm banging on a keyboard to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. Okay, right now I am one foot away from the microphone. Now I am about two feet away from the microphone. And now I am about four feet away from the microphone. This is what it sounds like when I'm talking into the Tackstar SGC 598. And this is what it sounds like using the camera's raw audio. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do a brief acoustic music test because I don't think you're gonna be using this to track electric guitar. So overall, I think it sounds decent for 25 bucks, but it is a big improvement over the camera's internal microphone. And I think that's where the real use case is. If you're gonna be recording with your camera and you just wanna improve the camera's audio a little bit, this is gonna help you do that for relatively low costs. So I would absolutely recommend this microphone, but only if you know what you're getting into. Know that you're buying a relatively low quality microphone that will only slightly improve your audio. Don't purchase this expecting to get Oscar worthy audio from it. It's not gonna give you that. It's not gonna sound amazing. It's gonna sound decent at best, but decent is a huge jump up from camera's internal audio. Also, this microphone has no way to mount to anything like this or a desk or anything. So that mixed with the very short cable would make it incredibly difficult to use with your computer. All right, guys, well, I guess that will do it. If you found the video fun, interesting, or helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you thought it sucks, give me a big old thumbs down. And if you want more, click subscribe or click in the logo in the corner. If you have any more questions about the microphone, leave them in the comments down below. If you're interested in the microphone or if you wanna vote for the microphone that you want reviewed next, check the links in the video description down below. And also don't forget to follow me on all the social media stuff, links in the video description as well. And I think that will do it. Thank you guys for watching and see you later, bye.